Hello everybody and welcome back to London. Today I'm doing something a little different, but also not different. It turns out that you can now get the Leica look on your phone. And I'm not one for street photography on your phone. Well, much as they work well to begin with when you're starting out, I've still got the Leica on me. Um, but there's a new app, it's called Leica Lux, and we're going to be testing it out today. I've got it open, and on the phone screen you get a ton of different options. It's basically like a pro camera mode. you got the camera, you've got an exposure dial, so you can turn down the exposure, turn up the exposure, you can focus to a point. You can have two function buttons, and customize the function buttons for having a histogram, focus peaking, level indicator, flash, timer, etc. You can change the file format, you can change it to all different types of things. So I've got one set to histogram, on and off, and I've got one set to focus peaking. So I can see where all the things are overexposed and where's being focused and where's not being focused, which is good. That's what I have set on my actual Leica. And on top of that, you have tons of different actual Leica looks. So that's where you get the quote unquote Leica look on your phone. You get a few as a free version, then you get a paid monthly version. This is the paid monthly version, but you get like a standard, like a vivid, like a natural, all as a free version. Then you get like a classic, like a contemporary, like a eternal, all as a paid version. Then you get the two black and white Leica looks, black and white natural and black and white high contrast as free. And then you get three more Leica looks, like a look blue, like a look selenium and like a look sepia, all as a paid version as well. I don't feel like you're gonna need the paid version. There's quite a lot of looks for the free version. And I feel like I'm gonna take it around. I'm gonna test it out. We're gonna do a little hour or so, just walking around here, seeing what photos we can get, seeing if it's any good. But if I'm taking a photo, I can change how vivid it looks. I can choose my exposure compensation, I can make it brighter, make it darker, turn off grid lines, turn on grid lines. I can even change different cameras on my phone to use the zoomed in three times, use the two times, use the one times, or use the point five times. So all of those have their own focus levels, focus points, and your exposure levels, and it remembers where you want it. So say if I want it at minus one, and go to 24 and then go back to, I don't know, minus two and go back to 13 and it goes to minus one. So it remembers where you were. It's quite clever. And then you've got all of these different modes. You've got aperture mode, you've got photo mode and photo mode allows you to choose the format. So I can have Pro HEIF, Pro Raw Plus on the iPhone. I can have aperture mode, which allows me to just lock in Pro mode basically. Um, tons of different features for a free app, but it's only just come out. So we're going to try it out and see what happens. I don't suppose it's going to be as good as a Leica, an actual Leica, but we'll uh, we'll see, and I'll report back. I suppose this is a good time to mention that this video is not sponsored by Leica. It's just a cool little app and I'm impressed. Much better than the photo app, that's for sure. So I've noticed that on the app, on aperture mode, when you're changing zooms, it doesn't actually just change the zoom on what lens you use on your phone. It actually replicates some Summerlux lenses. So on 28, I've got Summerlux M 1.4. Um, 35, I've got 
1.435, 50ml I've got 1.2, and then an Octolux 75, 1.25. And you'd think by changing aperture manually, it's gonna mess up your photo because phones don't actually have a real proper aperture mode like a actual Leica or a Leica camera in general. But it does give you a fake bokeh, and you might think that won't look as good, and it doesn't. But if I was to just focus on the camera for example here it does give quite a nice bokeh look to the image and it will change how much of a bokeh up to f8 it will give when i'm focusing i've also took a picture of that person over there the complementariness between the purples and the greens and the person sitting on the bench is i took it with this as well so i'm going to put both images up you can compare side by side. What do they look like? Do you think it looks good for a phone image? I'll let you be the judge. So I don't think there's any disagreement when I tell you that a phone sensor is not going to match up to a 60 megapixel full frame sensor in terms of image quality, but I am a very big believer in the best camera you can have is the one that you have on you, and you always have your phone on you. So if you're in a pinch and you're out on a day to day and you see something that you think might take a good picture, considering it's a free app and a lot of it comes bog standard and free and you get a two week free trial on the full version, it's well worth downloading. It's much better than your phone's default camera app. That is for sure. And the fact that it can replicate Leica looks quite well. Yeah, it does give you the Leica look on your phone. It doesn't give you the Leica quality on your phone because the sensors are tiny in a phone and obviously you haven't got a Summerlux or a Summercron lens attached to the end of these, but something you always have on you and something everyone has nowadays or a six grand camera what are you gonna pick in a pinch you know I'm not always gonna have this I'm always gonna have this so and for someone that just wants to get started out and wants to get a feel from the Leica look well worth downloading I'll leave a link in the description it's quite a good thing to look at have an experiment have a play let me know what you think down below in the comments thanks for watching this shorter type of video I'm gonna go and uh, take some more photos with the actual Leica now Keep an eye out on the channel, there'll be a video very soon.